All children aged one to nine and living in Greater London are being offered a polio vaccine after the virus was detected in sewage. The urgent immunisation campaign will see nearly a million children offered the vaccine, including those already up to date with their jabs. Well, inevitably, there are many questions surrounding the vaccination rollout. And here to answer some of yours is uh, new GP, Dr Vazan Hussain. Just to reassure you and everyone else, there's no live cases of polio. There's no polio disease that we've got in the UK. But what we're doing is giving this extra protection, this extra booster, that even if our children are completely up to date with their vaccines, if they're age one to nine, we're giving them an extra one just to be extra careful. Let's take a, a listen to some of the questions that we've had uh, from viewers. I've got two children, one's eight, the other one's ten. I just wanted to ask what the reasoning is behind only offering the booster to children up to nine years old, especially as I believe my eight-year-old would be getting a booster intended for a 15-year-old. Does that mean my 10-year-old is somehow not at as much of a risk? One of the reasons we've gone to the age of nine is because, um, as, as Angela said, after the age of 14, 15, everybody gets another polio anyway. So those children that are 10 are that little bit older, they, they're going to have another vaccine. So we thought we'll just start with the ones that are most vulnerable and that's why we've gone for that age group. It's not a new vaccine like COVID was. And if you're under six, it's the same one that you have at three years, four months. So they're tried and tested vaccines.